And we don't call this a skateboard, we call it a piece of jewelry. <laughs> because that's the way it has to look. And if it isn't perfect, we can't sell it to the customer. Where are we, what are we doing, and what's the Golden Skateboard all about? Uh, right now we're at Epner Technology, and um, this is where the, you know, the whole gold skateboard happened. What gave you the idea to try to create something like this? Um, we were given the opportunity to do it here through my dad, he works here. Um, we've done a few things in the past, and we wanted to see what the facilities were capable of here. The board alone is three mediums that you don't really see plated as much. You have urethane, wood, and metal, which is pretty standard, but to combine all that at once and really see it together was pretty amazing. One of the coolest things about this Golden Skateboard project is that it's actually a father-son project. This is Peter Willett, Matt's dad, and the man behind the science sort of involved in putting this together. Can you explain sort of step-by-step step the science involved in plating a skateboard? Well, first of all, we have to get a deck, and it has to be sanded to perfection. Then it's coated with a two-part, specially formulated epoxy, which allows the plating process to start. And it starts off with electroless copper. There is no electricity involved in that process right there. It's just time and temperature in the tank, and the copper begins to form on the board. It probably gained about six pounds of copper right there. It has to go to the polishers. And they polish that copper to a mirror. Absolute perfection. At that point, it goes into a nickel tank. And the nickel strike, in a flash, we have nickel. And the nickel is the base for the plating of the gold. The barons weren't plated. Those were done in like a high gloss and a black enamel. Uh, same for the bushings as well. So you have turning ability with the trucks and the wheel spin as well. What's the price tag on there? 15 grand. For... Is it skatable? It's not skatable. You might be able to stand on it. You can do whatever you want with it after you get it and see what happens, but we recommend just collecting it. Put it on yourself. P-Rod, Lil Wayne, Rob Deerdeck. <laughs> We're looking at you guys. It's kind of made with you in mind. Most of the probes that are out in space right now, we have parts that are in there. And the reason for the plating is because no microorganisms can go out to space, and they don't live on the gold, and they don't live on the copper. So when we're ready to go to Mars and start building skate parks over there, we might need to bring one of these along with us. You name it, whatever you bring in here, we'll plate it. All gold, everything on dose. Thanks a lot, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, just I'll give you the address where to ship that after the show. <laughs>